separate rooms so I couldn't hear that a little bit of that. Juan Pablo Garcia out of the race guys. There are five cars locked in a pretty good battle for fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh and the number nine machine Kristen Airy Anders Grohn hits the wall and we've got a bad crash in front of you in turn two. Ooh, we just had a big, oh, that. Is that Dempsey? Wow, that looked like Dempsey. Right oh, he makes a hard contact with the tire barrier. Yeah. And we've got a full course caution. Big that hit, is guys. a bad, bad crash. And it looks like he's moving around into the cockpit. Each other. Sorales actually replaced the front wing, went back out, but then lap 14, PK was in control. Enerson greatly missed the breaking point, and this was frightening. Huge crash there for RC Enerson, and he's so lucky to walk away from that incident. Scary stuff. Look at this, the best news of the day. He climbs out. The new Delara IL-15 did its job. Rear of the car, the front of the car destroyed. We'll chase Austin. Yeah, he just hits at the worst possible angle there, right where the safer barrier and the tire barrier kind of come together. So it really is uh, just... But then he probably just got on the accelerator too much and got, uh, you know, got on the full tires, and there it went. Well, Brian Clawson, you watched the onboard shot. He did a good job of avoiding yeah. this mess in, in turn number two. But what an unfortunate start to, to this race. Uh, Jake Query? And we're standing with Brian Berlardi, who now can watch what happened with Jacob Wilson, his rookie, making his first start here in the Firestone Indy Lights. You said he was good during the test. He was good during practice. But what happened there at the outset? It was probably just trash. But right here is the contact. And then he hits Jeff Boss, and watch all the parts go flying down the racetrack. Let's follow some of them. And in fact, there was enough parts there that one of those certainly could have got into Giafone's car. Amazing job there by Zach Beach. I was just talking to him before that. Oh, oh, big, big crash. Scott Anderson, I think. Man, that is Scott Anderson. I hope he's okay. That was a huge crash there. Cold tires looked to, uh, to catch him out. Man, I really hope he's okay there. That was a nasty impact. He's already flipped up the visor. That's a great sign for... Probably impacted a lot of dirt and eventually tripped it. So here, let's take a look. Oh, that's... Something happened prior to getting out on the dirt. So he was upside down on the pavement. On the and, racetrack, yeah. And I would... Ha what, what has to happen there is... ...que ça se passe. Ouh là là, oui, là, c'était limite au niveau du freinage déjà. Oh là, bah là, là, oui, ça passait pas entre le 3 et le 18. Entre Juan Manuel Pollard et Cindy Aleman, avec en plus Harry le Hyundai et Julien. Oh. Two wide, three back as well. Gustavo Young oh. front touches and a teammate. Oh, oh. and a big yeah. crash. Anna Beatrice. Oh, we hope she's okay. That was a tough hit. Anytime oh. you have a frontal impact tough. like that, that is Looked a really like the, hard looks hit. Looks like the car held up very well. The Gussie's round. Gussie's round. Oh. Oh, two, cars, two cars. Is out. it both of the Team More cars? It's both the Team Moors. It looks like Chavez might have touched. Garcia going into turn one. Had the early advantage, trying to get there from the outside. They're still side by side, heading down shoreline. A little bump from behind from Kaiser, maybe. And Kaiser gets up into the back of Harvey, and they're both going into the wall. First and third into the wall. Unbelievable. I cannot believe this. Jack Harvey and Kyle Kaiser, they were just comes around as he's trying to put Bauer down, hits the inside wall pretty hard. Uh, unfortunately, he had a good run. Watch it drive over Ekblom's left front. Watch the launching ramp right here. Boom, up it goes. There she goes. 
This could have been a major disaster. Total upside down and a second time. Here's the scary bit. If he had rolled into that outside barrier. Into that outside, he almost went over that outside barrier. Robbie Groff is lucky that he escaped. With that, we hope he escaped. Yeah, in fact, there he is. Second gear corner. Watch how quickly it breaks away. There she goes. Boom! The tires squeal as they bite for grip on the rear wing. Of entry lane. And now, as we take a look at the... Stephen Wilson's car hits the out outside retaining wall and launches back to the inside of the racetrack. But uh, now Martin Plavitt is making his way back around the racetrack. He and Pippa Mann both failed to make it to the pin pit entry lane. And so uh, Pippa now is on pit road, and Martin Plavitt will be there shortly. Hey, we'll keep our eyes on the Durch die Gegend rutscht, hätte ich eigentlich in diese Kurve einbiegen wollen. Wo soll ich jetzt hin? Außer in die Betonmauer und in dieses rote Auto vom Tabellenführer Derek Higgins. So sieht das Ganze übrigens aus der Sicht von Higgins aus. Ryan Dyke Jr. also. Oh, and we have a spin. Daniel Still. Harrington, and is everybody going to miss him? Unbelievably so, although several cars are oh. going to get involved. Wow. Yeah, but you know, that's incredible that he spun right there in mid-pack, and everybody was spinning to avoid him, and then we just saw a little bit of a slide there right at the end. That looks like...